Welcome back, people. We've got a new video for you here. To go to oh, wow. I couldn't even speak. I don't even know what that was. Anyway, I'm not even going to bother to edit it. Um, <laughs> the same bike, LO26, hydraulic brakes. To get the hydraulic brakes on the electric bikes, you need to have the cable that comes out, as you can see just there where I'm touching that cable there. You, it's a sensor that runs through the bike down to the motor. So when I pull the back brake, the motor stops. Then brakes, you can buy them on eBay. I don't know if you can buy them on Amazon. I'm pretty sure you can, but they cost 90 pounds. I don't have 90 pounds after buying this bike. So the next best thing is these hydraulic brakes. And they look so much better. So this is the front one. This is called a mechanical brake. And look at our back wheel. That looks not only awesome, but the braking for this works absolutely amazing, and it really does. So, I can't afford the hydraulic brakes, but I can afford hydraulic pull brakes. These cost £40. You get two of them, front and back, and with the brake uh, brakes in. Also, with this spacer as well that is inside it. Never ever pull the brakes on these brakes whilst um, while you have these not in the uh not attached to the bike because otherwise oil will come piercing out they're quite straightforward little clips i will show you one just here this is one that i pulled off the back i put one on the back and i tried it for about five minutes if that and i really noticed a humongous humongous difference definitely definitely better the back brake was horrible and squeaky and uh not very good I want something good because these, you know, these bikes are a lot heavier than the standard normal mountain bikes. So because it's an electric bike and you've got the battery and the weight of the motor and stuff, it is definitely, yeah, it takes a lot longer to slow down. So I am now going to be pulling off the pin off here, off the end of this cable. I hope you can see that. It's kind of dark on the, on the camera. I hope it ain't going to be like that. But anyway, we're going to pinch it together and we're just going to pull pull it off i don't want to do it too hard because i don't want to break the end of the cable or thread the cable in any sort of way so i'm just doing it slowly pinching and pulling at the same time there we go that got it so we're going to need a pair of pliers for this one we're going to need a five mil allen key which is just here and that is pretty much all you're going to need so to undo this front one there's a bolt here that my fingers touching first that is the cable so let's undo that we've got videos on this bike on how to do the speed hack as well as that explaining the whole entire display and um, batteries and stuff so we've got a lot of different videos so far haven't done many videos of me riding this other than racing against the m365 pro scooter that's a very popular scooter other than us racing against that i haven't actually done any other video on riding this at the moment so i am definitely going to have a lot more of that in the future just adjusting the straps on my chest here i don't know why i'm doing this today it's so hot it's silly that I'm, i always do things on really hot days but anyway let's um look at that you see before and after how much better it's going to look how much more colorful not only colorful but these are called hydraulic pull brakes just to mention that um so the oil goes in here and it stays in here and it never ever you don't have to ever replace it you can if you want to but you never need to replace this so that's one other good thing as well i don't ever have to replace the oil only the brake pads so it's going to look better <coughs> Oh wow, them brakes are really on there. Cool. We got there. We broke that nut. Okay, so you can use a lock nut to tighten these up after, but I don't really see any point in that because I always do them quite tight. That is insanely tight if I'm honest. So these brakes that are on here at the minute, they're the standard brakes that come with the actual bike itself just to mention that you do also get when you buy these you buy two for 40 pounds which is really good i'm going to use the original nut from the bike itself they do come with four nuts you could use those if you want to but i'm just going to use the original ones just because that's what it come with 
So we do live streaming. We use Facecam whilst live streaming. We play games, we upload random videos just like this. We're gonna take this bike off road and we're gonna do a lot of things with this bike. So stay tuned. Make sure you hit the notification bell and you are subscribed because otherwise anytime we do these videos or any updates on these bikes, you are gonna miss them and you don't wanna miss out because they are quite helpful. So I'm now pulling out this. We're gonna sit this on our bike. Very straightforward. Make sure the brake pads are in between the disc. And then our nut is gonna go on here. We're gonna make some adjustment to this bit here. We are gonna have to do that because I did that on the back one. So we're gonna do that on this one. Most of you guys probably know how to do this, to be honest. Like, it's pretty much straightforward, but there is a few out there that don't know, so that's why I'm showing this video now. Let's screw this in. As I say, original bolts are the best way to go, to go with. They are definitely the best thing. Okay, this bolt here as well. You could use the bolts that it comes with, but I like to use the original thing because that was what was on the bike originally. The reason why I'm using these hydraulic brakes is because the back one kept squeaking like crazy. The front one was okay, but because the bike is a lot more heavier, it definitely takes longer to slow the bike down. So hydraulic brakes are definitely better than the mechanical brakes. That's why I'm putting these on. And it makes a massive, massive difference for the back brake. So it's going to make a massive difference for the front brake. The front brake was okay. Didn't really need to replace it, if I'm honest. Didn't really need to replace it. So anyway, let's get you in a bit closer here. So as you can see, this here, I poked through and put in there. Now it's just hanging. The proper way to do this, I could just unscrew it a little bit. But the proper way to do it is we unscrew this bolt here. And we take it completely out so i'm going to do that just because it's the proper way to do it and then these two little hooks oh let's get you a bit bit of light here i've lost the bolt as well somewhere oh gosh having a black carpet not ideal okay so um my hands are dirty from the bike obviously so you see that hook there what we want to do is that's going to go through there like that that's how it's going to sit Hopefully it focuses. Camera focus. Okay. And then these two hooks, the cable is going to go over. I'm going to screw that in. So it's sitting like that. That's how it's going to sit. That's how we're going to have it. Just tighten it up a little bit more. Okay, there we go. And then for these two bolts here and here, these two, we can tighten these up straight away. On the back, I did have to actually add an extra washer behind that, just to mention that. So, if you do have squeaky brakes, use a bit of rubbing alcohol on the disc brake to clean it up. You can also use a bit of aftershave and a damp cloth, uh, dry cloth, sorry. Spray the aftershave on the dry cloth. That works pretty good. A cloth like that, spray a bit of aftershave or rubbing alcohol, or even alcohol, and then just wipe the disc brake and... That will prevent your horrible squeaky brakes. Okay, so I'm just making some adjustment up on the top there. On this bit here, just twisting that in on my brake lever. And then we come down. So they're called mechanical brake. Cool. Um, oh my gosh, why can't I talk? Mechanical pull brakes, and they are made by Z Tech or X Tech, should I say? And then with this brake lever, we're going to tighten this up here. But before we do, this up here is quite kind of loose. And I did have to use the original nuts. These nuts here, these silver ones. I had to use those on the, the top two and the bottom two. I had to use that on the back one. I don't know if I have to use it on the front one. So I'm going to screw it in first and find out. If I do, I can always take them off. It's not going to take me a second to do, but I did have to put those on the back. I don't know about the front. We're about to find out. Okay, so now we've got that on. Just going to push the bike backwards and forwards. Oh, actually, I can... Can I... 
Um, I need to try and, is what I need is, I know, I forgot to show this actually. This is what we need, if you give me one second. Um, I got this especially for this to rise the bike up a little bit. So it's all I got <laughs> is an empty paint pot because I've got no one else here with me. So we're going to lift the bike up and set it on there just like that. Just so we're able to um, rest the bike against the wall there like that. And then that way I'm able to spin this wheel and listen out for it scratching on the disc brake. Whoa. Okay. Well, that, that can happen as well. <laughs> In the name of YouTube, I have got marks all over my walls, and yes, I am going to have to repaint them. I've got that tire mark from over there from, from before. I still haven't repainted that yet, but that's because I keep on doing jobs like this. In my front room, which is not the best place to do it. So, I can hear a slight little rub in there. So, is what we do is... I can adjust these. I'm going to unscrew it a little bit. Unscrew that one a little bit. So can you hear that? That's some serious rub in there. So I'm just going to position it to where it stops rubbing. Which is just slight little movements. I don't know if I'm going to have to use them silver nuts. Okay, there sounds good. Okay, hold on. Listening out. It's catching ever so slightly. Screw this one in a bit more at the bottom and we can adjust it from the top. Now the easiest way to do this is to pull the front brake, so people say. But every time I've done that, it doesn't seem like it does do it very good. And the reason being is because you can't position it right, whereas if you do it with your hands, you can completely stop it. Whoa, okay. Bike's falling again. I really wish I had someone to help me do this. Or at least someone to hold the bike. Okay, so I'm gonna just keep spinning until I hear no sound. You can also look through as well. If you look through, you can see where the pads are rubbing. Now the pads are going to rub a slight little bit at first anyway, just because they are new brakes. But I do want it to be, I don't want it to be really stiff to the point where I'm not able to, the wheel's not able to spin freely. So I don't mind a tiny, tiny bit of rubbing. That's okay. So we want a good spin like that. we we'll get it right in a second. Okay, that sounds good there. That's slightly better. So yeah, the other way is you pull the front brake. If you pull the front brake, then spin the wheel. Then that way, that does your job for you. But as I say, I don't like to do it that way. That's not my method. Just because every time I've tried it like that, it doesn't seem to work. So my method is, is all I do, is I just keep on moving this little caliper until I don't hear it rubbing, the pads rubbing on the disc. As soon as I don't hear that, then I tighten up these, this bolt here, and then this bolt up here, and then tighten up those two. Now when I did max tight these on the back, it was rubbing like crazy, so I did use them other nuts which I will show you the back one again okay this one has actually gone really good now it is rubbing ever so slightly 
just a fraction. So you can also look down the brake and you can see you can see where it touches and where it doesn't touch. I'm quite happy with that. That's pretty good. It spins quite freely. I can hear it touching it ever so slightly. So we're just going to do that until I don't hear it rub. There we go. And I'm now going to tighten up this one just here. So hydraulic pull brakes, I think they're an awesome thing. I didn't even know you could get pull brakes as hydraulics. I know you can get hydraulic brakes, but I didn't know that you could get pull brakes like this. So that's really good. I'm actually really happy with that. So there we go. There's the front one. Let's pull the brake. Okay, perfect. So I am going to have to wear them in a little bit. As you can hear, I don't know if you can hear that. There's a tiny, tiny, tiniest bit of rubbing. But the wheel, as you can see, does spin freely anyway. So that's fine for that. So I'm now going to... The camera's going to be a little bit messy for the minute. It's going to be a bit of a messy job. I'm going to hold the camera in my hand. So that way I'm able to get a little bit closer. And show you up a little bit closer. See if I can get this camera out. There we go. Okay. So... This, this nut here is the first one that you tighten, this one, and then this is the second nut that you tighten. These ones and this one. This one here, where my finger's touching, and this one. These are the last two nuts you, you do. Now, as I say, you can hold it and you can adjust it so you can listen if it's scratching, which that's the way I do it. Or you can hold the back brake in, pull the back, uh, front brake, sorry, <laughs> unless you've done the back brake. Pull the front brake in, and as you pull the front brake in, tighten up this bolt and this bolt, and that will stop it from rubbing as well. Also here, you can tighten up this bolt here to, you don't want that too tight, you just want it so it's able to, I normally do it as loose, and then here I can always adjust. I can twist this out, which will then make my front brake even sharper. Obviously, as you can hear, the more I do it, you're gonna hear it rub more. It's not rubbing too much, but you can, I don't know if you can hear that. But there is a slight rub in there. So, and that's obviously because I'm making the front brake tighter. As you can see, it didn't spin nowhere near as long by me doing that. I know this video has gone a, lo a little bit longer than what it was supposed to. Shouldn't really take this long to do some brakes, but I just wanted to show you slowly step by step so these are called x tech and look how much different compared to when it was um with the this brake mechanical brake on and as i say there's oil inside here you don't ever have to change that which is awesome the only thing you ever do have to change over time is your brake pads that is it so there you have it it looks so much better as well so it looks better it performs better and make sure you subscribe, turn the notifications, because we are going to be using this off-road. That's why I wanted mechanical brakes, or mechanical pull, pull brakes, should I say. I would have preferred mechanical brakes, but mechanical brakes are pretty cheap. But they're not cheap for the electric bikes. They're £90, because obviously you need to have this cable here that um, shuts off your motor when you pull the brake. That's very, very, very important. So... If you can't afford the mechanical brake levers uh, for the electric bike, so then buy these mechanical brakes themselves. Brake pads come with it. Everything comes with it. So for £40 front and back, I think that's pretty awesome. And then, so as you can see here, this is how the front looks. And then moving on to the back one, as you can see here is what I've done. This is the old one here. Uh, it, it's... Uh, it's okay, it's not broken, but I've just obviously taken off all the bolts and nuts. This is from the front one that we took off. You've got four, two nuts there, two nuts there, or washers, should I say, which is four, which is what we've put on the back here. That's the only way I managed to do it. Now, you might not have to do that yourself. You might just be able to attach it, but the good thing is I didn't have to buy any parts. These parts come off the old back, back brake, mechanical brake. I took them washes off put them on like so and that back one is awesome last final touch is get your little crimp and put it back on 
twisted on and then once it's on you get your pair of pliers and just give it a good old squeeze and that's it and you do the same with the front as well again you just take that end little piece just there I'm sorry my hands are so dirty it's from the brakes <laughs> and then yeah we put it on it's so hard to do with one hand I don't think I'm gonna be able to, yeah that one's kind of bent still I don't think I'm gonna be able to put that on one hand but anyway look how nice that looks mechanical brakes and believe me these are so much better you can buy them on eBay you can buy them on Amazon you can buy them from just typing in on Google mechanic pull brakes they are quite a wide range of these all over the place very very easy to get so that's pretty good so just to mention, if you do want to change the actual disc as well, the disc is 160, that's the size, and it also does say it on there as well. These are for a 26 inch wheels as well, just to mention that on the L026 same bike, free, this one is a 500 watt, but whether it's a 500 watt or whether it's the 350 watt, you can still buy these mechanical um, hydraulic sorry not mechanical hydraulic brakes are absolutely awesome they really are really good so when I pull the back back one look at the movement in there you see that it's so so smooth I'm hardly pressing that as well look at that I'm only pushing that just a little little bit not much at all and that is all the way in that is all the way in look at that and it works absolutely amazing and then for the front one we pull the front one so you can see that move as well look at that so smooth beautiful and as you can see up there I'm not pulling that all the way in just a little bit and yeah that is perfect so yeah make sure you turn on notifications subscribe drop a like hopefully this helped you out Definitely recommend buying them. They make your bike look better, make you stop quicker, the brakes perform better, and having a heavy electric bike, you definitely want some really good brakes to stop you. That's gonna be it for this video. Hope it helped you out. We catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I'm out. Oh no, actually one last thing. <laughs> Remember this thing. Some people have talked to me about this. This is not an air shock, it's a coil spring shock. If it starts squeaking, which mine did really bad, unscrew it all the way, open it up, stick some WD-40 in there, screw it back up, works a treat. Very, very good tip. If you do have any problems with any sort of electric bike, even if you don't have this one, if you have any problems with electric bikes do leave it in comments below i know a lot about these bikes i can help you the best way i possibly can we catch you people again soon for some more fun and games i'm out